guys, it's Tina and I am back and I have been missing in action for about a week now, a week and a half because I took, I just took a break. I took time off for the holiday to just spend time with friends and family and just relax because with school and work I have just been going non-stop and I needed to take a break. I needed to just relax, not think about filming, none of that. I just had a great time, relaxed for four days, I had a long weekend. And I must say one thing though, I spent time with my family. We had dinner, We everybody got together, and that's what we typically do around any holidays. We'll get together, but we don't necessarily celebrate that day. So like for Thanksgiving, we don't celebrate Thanksgiving. One, it's an American holiday where Jamaicans, we don't really get into that, get down like that, but we have the day off, so we gonna get together and eat some food. I am not going to celebrate a holiday that is surrounded with so much negativity. So I didn't celebrate that, but for those of you who did, hopefully you had a great holiday and you spent time with your friends and family. And to take the holiday to reflect on what you're thankful for, for your blessings, and also to just love on all your friends and family and show them that you appreciate them because it's just a lot of negative things this year and we really need to come together when we can with our friends and family and really spread the love. And I wanted to spread some love to you guys as well. Come in, come in for a hug, group hug, some positive energy because I really love the community and the family we built here on YouTube on my channel. My subscribers are the best. This little family that we formed, we are the best and I really appreciate you guys. So. I wanted to come back and share some products that I picked up during the friends and family sales that Tarte had, Stila, and Too Faced had. So I was able to get 25 to 30% off a bunch of products and I wanted to try out some new products anyway from all three brands. So I went ahead and picked up some products and I decided to just share them with you guys in this video. Nothing too crazy, really laid back, nothing too intense. You've probably even seen some of these um, products in action because I did use a couple of them already because I wasn't going to wait for the haul to do this because sometimes the haul takes some time, right? So let's go ahead and share the products that I picked up from Stila because that's really easy. I went ahead and got the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. I got the shade 10 and it's a press dispenser so it's a vacuum dispenser so you press and the product comes up on the top and then you pick it up off of that um i like that because it keeps the rest of the product inside nice and sanitary but i, mm, I don't know how i feel about this overall thing but the shade i got like i said was 10 and this actually matches my skin tone pretty decently it may be a little bit too light but thankfully it's the winter time so i've lightened up a bit and I can always bronze around the perimeter of my face to really make this blend in. But I've been liking this so far and I am happy to try it out because I really love their Stay All Day Foundation from yesteryear, the one that was discontinued. I really like that. So I'm getting a chance to use the new formulation. I also went ahead and grabbed the Stila Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten in a single. I have it in a palette, but I wanted to grab it in a single because Kitten is one of those just this is a cult favorite product and for good reason it's a beautiful highlight shade you can use it on your cheeks you can use it on the inner tear duct it's just a beautiful I would call it a peachy champagne tone but you see that that is so beautiful and I have it in a palette but I wanted it in a single so if I wanted to travel I could take this along with me so this is what I really went on the Stila website for because I don't really buy a lot of Stila products but I wanted to get that eyeshadow and I went ahead and just grabbed the foundation at the same time and that's all I picked up literally they also sent me though a lash stunner extreme lash primer I think it's a duo so they sent it's a little deluxe size set of their lash primer and their mascara this is the huge extreme lash mascara so it's really beautiful gold packaging I'm gonna test those out Stila did you change your packaging to this gold, like the champagne gold? Hey! Well, I'm going to try this out and let you know how it goes. But so far, the foundation has been really good to me. I like it. And then, of course, Stila Kitten is just amazing. 
Now, I also shop the Too Faced um, Friends and Family Sale. And if you were signed up for their emails, you got 25% off instead of 20. So I jumped on it because Sephora's sale was 20%. So I took advantage of the Too Faced sale instead because that was better. Like, what? And I grabbed the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I've used this in a video as well. This is the undetectable medium to full coverage foundation and it's oil free. I got the shade Caramel. Shade match myself in store at Ulta and grab the shade that, you know, fit me the best. And I actually do like this foundation. I have to wear it some more to see how I really feel like how wear goes. But on initial application, I do like it. And it does give a nice medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's, yeah, medium to full almost. But I don't have that much to cover. So I can't really vouch for that full coverage kind of situation. But... My like it, it go on, it go on. And I grabbed the concealer that goes with it. This is in deep tan. And this is a little bit lighter, but I like that for brightening up my under eyes without being too overwhelming because I knew I can't do, you know how people just go bold and intense and over the top with under eyes? No, I can't do it. I don't like, oh, it look, look full, full. No, mm -mm. <laughs> You see me with the shade? Now, from um, Too Faced, I also grabbed some more of their Melted Matte Lipsticks. These are the Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipsticks. This is, I'll say it right now, this is my favorite, favorite liquid lipstick formula, the matte liquid lipstick formula. And this guy actually contains 0.23 fluid ounces or seven milliliters of product, which is actually on the higher side of the spectrum for liquid lipsticks. It actually contains quite a lot of product and it's $21. So it's, it's kind of middle of the field, playing field right now, but the formula, like I have a liquid lipstick roundup video coming up that I'm planning. Like I have so many videos planned guys. I don't know where I'm going to find the time. But we're gonna do this. I have so many swatch videos as well that I went, oh God, I don't know what to do. I have tons of swatches and I just haven't had the time to film the rest of the video, like the intro, the outro, the review. So it's just, I have tons to do. But anyway, I got, I grabbed the shade Queen Bee, which is, um, it looks, it looks like a mauve tone shade, like a cool to, ooh, that is very light. Um. Maybe that wasn't the wisest thing. Let's see, does it apply that lightly? Yes, it does. It's like a gray toned mauve shade. So mauve meaning it has a little bit of rosy and um, purpley undertones. So yeah, that, but I can make that work. Like I can make that happen. I'm gonna make it happen. And then I grabbed the shade Bend and Snap. Now I thought I had Bend and Snap before because I mentioned that that's what I used in one of my, it was in one of my videos or in what, in, in, on Instagram. I forget, but I said it was bend and snap and it wasn't bend and snap. So, sorry about it, but I got bend and snap now. And this one, I mean, the other shade was very similar, so it wasn't like you were going to miss out. This is now a deeper, ooh, it looks so bright on camera, but it's not that, well, it is bright. Oh, that is a good bright like raspberry pink shade raspberry meaning there's like some purple and some pink and rosy hues to it that is actually really beautiful so even if i said it was bend and snap and you got it and you felt some type of way because it wasn't the right shade you can't feel some type of way because the color is gorgeous like look at that right right just 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 agree now i picked up um another one of their nude shades this is cool girl and what I like about the line, which is why it's my favorite liquid lipstick, apart from the formula being fantastic and I love the wear of it and how comfortable it feels, I think the shade selection is really great as well. They have a ton of nude shades, so there are so many shades to choose from that you're bound to find a shade that suits you, that you like. And they have like really flattering shades, but they also have like interesting bold shades, like they have a blue and I really like that. Even though it's a very wearable line where you are bound to find a shade that works for you, they also have fun pops of color. So that's what I really like. And that is the shade Cool Girl, like I said. So there you have it. That one is Queen Bee. This is Bend and Snap. And then this is Cool Girl. So you see, those are really beautiful shades. 
And that is all I picked up from Too Faced. Now, I would have picked up some backups of my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex, but I have so many backups of those that I know I need to go through those before I even start buying more mascara. So, no more mascara, but that is my favorite mascara. So, picked up some new products to try out, and I am excited to see how that goes. Now, the next sale I went ahead and took advantage of was the Tarte sale, which was 30% off. And I have a like-dislike relationship with Tarte. On one hand, I really like some of their products, like their single metalist eyeshadows, so good, and their Amazonian clay blushes, phenomenal. But then I have a dislike relationship with them because their foundation shades are not suitable for deeper skin tone. Now I know they're trying to expand their range, they're adding different shades now, deeper shades, especially in their Shape Tape concealer, I saw that they added like two deeper shades but it still has a that brand has a ways to go to really appeal to women of color so that's where my like dislike relationship is but I still enjoy quite a few of their products so I went ahead and I grabbed which I use this already this is the Tartiste Pro palette now there is so much controversy around this palette like people really think it sucks and then some people are like no it's great and then nobody knows who the hell to trust because some people got to go to Bora Bora and I feel some type of way that Tarte didn't invite me to Bora Bora but on the other hand if I went to Bora Bora you guys would be like you only like it because you went to Bora Bora and you're sucking up to the brand and it's like no I actually do like the Tartiste palettes like they're Tartiste what was it in bloom and then there's the regular Tartiste palette which is their all matte palette I really like the formula it's not the best formula I've ever tried in the world like it doesn't knock my makeup forever eyeshadows up no my makeup forever eyeshadows are bomb Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadows are also really great but these are kind of middle of the road decent and that's what I've come to expect from Tarte somebody actually messaged no she let me, left me a comment about that and she said exactly how I felt these eyeshadows are not mind-blowing. They're not going to change your life. But are they bad? Absolutely not. They're actually pretty decent eyeshadows. And that has been the case for Tarte eyeshadows all along. However, I think their previous like holiday palettes, and they have some other palettes that weren't the, the Tarteiste palettes, those eyeshadows sucked. I absolutely would not have recommended those. Those were not good at all. But I feel like the Tarteiste the Tartiste, I like to say Tartiste, but I feel like the Tartiste formula is actually pretty decent. It's not the best, but it does really do a good job, and I like the palette. I like this palette. I can't even front. Now, I will say I love these two rows, these two dark rows, like with the dark, like these smoky tones. Love those shades. Love them. Absolutely love them. These two rows, the lighter rows, do come off more with a gray cast, which can be very ashy on deeper skin tone. Not my favorite. And these metalist eyeshadows here, that's their metalist formula. And I love this metalist formula. So three of the rows I'm like die hard about. The other two, not so much. So would I say it's a palette that you have to run out and get? No. Do you have most of these eyeshadows already in your collection if you're an avid makeup collector? More than likely. But am I going to bash it and say it's a bad palette? No, if you like the Tartiste palette, if you like the Tartiste in Bloom palette, you will still like the formula of this. So stop bashing things just to bash it. It's not bad. Like, oh, see here? This was the, oh, it wasn't Tartiste. It's Tartlet. <laughs> Tartlet palette. You see, all along me, I call it foolishness. The Tartlet palette, this has a lot of gray tone cool shades too. And then the Tartlet in Bloom. So that's what it is. <laughs> not Tartiste, but the Tartlet in Bloom, which I think this one is better suited for most people out of the two. But then this, I really like these shades as well. So, I mean, sue me. Sue me. I like those. Other products from them, you know, it's hit or miss for me, but I like that. Now, I did mention that I went ahead and grabbed a bunch. Like, I have tons of these Amazonian clay, what are they called? The Tartiste Amazonian. Now I'm just calling everything just all kinds of names. This is the Tartiste Pro Wild Animal Custom Magnetic Palette. This is what it looks like. 
It's Tarte's version of a Z palette, pretty much. It's a magnetized palette that you can put your single eyeshadows in, blushes, face powders, whatever is in a magnetic pen or a metal pen you can put in this palette. And it has a really great mirror. Like this mirror is look under window. This mirror is fantastic. It is great to apply makeup on the go if you want to just pack your singles, create your own custom palette create that so I grabbed a bunch of these like I have tons of those but I went ahead and also grabbed they have this limited edition one this is called the gold digger custom magnetic palette this is in a different design so I don't know what this design is it's abstract it's like a dotted kind of feel and then it has like look on it I saw it look that's how it look right <laughs> I just thought this was same concept same design Again, the palette is really handy for travel for creating your own custom palettes. I really like this, so I grabbed this different design because I like the I really like their custom palettes. And on discount, hello, hair, here I am. Hi, hi. Quick intermission, guys. I already finished filming the video, took my lipstick off, and I was like, wait a minute, I forgot to mention that I got some of the Tarte Tarteist lip paints. These are the quick dry formula. So they redid the formulation because the original formula I have and it's a moussey texture, it doesn't really set down and people complained about that. So they did a new formula where it's quick dry, it's actually a flat matte color just like other liquid lipsticks. Things that we've come to expect apparently that they should dry completely matte and, matte and be smudge proof, budge proof and all of that. So I did grab a few colors. I grabbed four colors from them. Again, it was a sale and I want to try out different liquid lipsticks for you guys. So I'm just jumping in quickly with my hair up like I'm getting ready to wash my face. And I was like, wait, I got to share this with you guys. So just a quick, quick, quick intermission just to disturb you guys for a little bit. So I got the shade Acid Wash, which I was so excited for this shade. It's a deep, like burgundy shade it's a beautiful shade for the winter time and fall it actually matches my top hey it looks a little streaky we will wear these though I'm gonna wear them and test them out but I wanted to quickly show you them and the applicator is actually one of those divoted doe foot so it's a doe foot but it has a little dip in it that holds on to products and it actually wraps around your lips pretty nicely so this one here is a nude, like a nudie brown. It is the shade Fortune. That's gonna be a nice one. That's my kind of shade. Now from just swatching these, I can feel that they're a little bit thin. Like this is the first time I'm playing with them. They're a little bit thin, maybe a little bit watery, which will lead to them being a little bit streaky. Hmm. Not too sure how this formula is gonna go. This is the shade Sis, which is a burnt terracotta brown. And then this one is Wannabe, which is a deep chocolate brown. And we're going to see. I'm going to test these out and see how they go because, wow, so far, again, first time trying them out, I don't know how I feel just yet. So, you know what? Since I'm here and I took my lip color off anyway, let's go ahead and try this out. This one is, which one is this? Acid Wash. This is the deep burnt purple plum shade. I like the applicator, the way it's shaped, that it hugs the lips. Like I thought it would be thin. They're very thin and streaky. Like, already there's no opacity. It's very sheer on my lips right now. Yeah, I don't have high hopes for these. Already this is like completely sheer. You're going to have to layer this and build it up. Hopefully they layer well because this is not looking good. Nope. Nope. All right, you know what? So far, I'm not not feeling it. So I'm gonna let y'all get back to the rest of the haul. Oh, I also grabbed the two last things that I grabbed, and this haul is done. Like, believe it or not, hey. No, no, three more things. Three more things I like. So I grabbed the Tartiste Pro Flutter Faves Lash Case. Now, Tarte recently debuted cruelty-free lashes. I am wearing, no, I'm not wearing one now. Lie me, I tell I'll wear me, I'll wear. But they're similar to these. Now, I did pick up a couple of those lashes in my last haul. But I thought this was so cute. They have a little case. So you can put three pairs of, four pairs of lashes in here. And you get a little lash glue. 
and it has a little mirror as well so you can bring this this is like a perfect travel case for lashes and I don't have a, tr a lash case like I have tons of lashes and I just put them back in the box because I reuse them and I if I use them in a video I want to show you the actual box but I thought this was still a handy little doodad to have your lashes in like what and with the little glue as well. I haven't tried the glue yet, so I don't even know what to tell you about that. But I thought that was really cute, right? And I ended up getting two of those because I'm enough. And it was like, I literally paid like $8 for it with the, with the, on the sale. With the, on the sale. With the sale. So it was worth it to me to get, to get it. Because have you tried to get the House of Lashes case? Like, order myself for 20 or something, or something serious like that, like 20 something that I like. So I'm going to buy a lash case to put lashes in. That's the same cost as the, no, mm-mm. Oh, sub lash? No. So when Tart, what may I open it for? So when Tart had these, I was like, hey, hey, hey. John Cucky and anyone? Love him. But I grabbed those. Now, yeah, again, I am very enough and inquisitive and I want to, to see the things. They have this as well. This is their Tartus Pro. Did I show the box? I flinged away the box. But it's their big mama jama um, lash case. Let me know. Wait, let me, let me see. This is the limited edition Wink Wardrobe Tartus Pro Lash Binder. What a heap of excitement. It's a lash book. So it's a binder, gold finish, and you store your lashes in it. So. It's kind of like the House of Lashes case, but it's lined with pink, it's gold, it has these little plastic inserts, and you can remove these, that's what I like about it, you can remove these inserts. So, say I didn't want to have lash, like all lashes in here, I could put other things over there and travel with this, or I just remove both, Lord, come on now, let me show them, or take both out and just travel with this as a thing. I don't know, or store something in it, I just, Again, I am enough and inquisitive, so this stores how many lashes now? Two, four, six, so that's 12 on this side, and then the other side has six more. So 18 pairs of lashes, and then in here, I took that out already, you see? This comes in here, so this is right here, and this is a separate kit that comes with this, and this includes two of the glue, so they have the clear one, the black glue, let me take it out. Whew. This has the clear glue, the black glue, then they have these lash applicators in gold, like fancy, fancy, oh, hey. This is a great lash applicator too, and it's it's not like some cheapo lash applicator. It's really heavy duty, it feels really solid, so hey. Now they have that and then you have a little mini pair of scissors so you can trim your lashes, do what you need to do girl. And there is a mirror that you can use to apply the lashes in the lid like, hello. This is why I got it because I saw this part. It wasn't even the wardrobe that I wanted because I'm like I'm never going to store this many lashes in here. But again I spent like, this was like $12 with the discount so it was worth it to get this little part of it. And that's why I took it out because I can travel with this and one of the lash cases. Lashes done. I'm gonna have three pair and then I'm gonna have all the tools to go with it. Isn't that cute? I thought that was cute, but that's just me. Come I love lashes. Anyway, the last thing I picked up is this Tarte. What is it called? This is the brush, the Tarte's Toolbox Brush Set and Magnetic Palette. Now they're doing a lot with little palettes and kits and stuff that you can travel with, which is cute, I don't mind it. And this is in their holiday print, which is this pink and purple and prettiness, right? And then it has a little push tab. You push it and it opens up. And in here you have, how many brushes? Five brushes, dual ended brushes, mind you. And then a magnetic side that you can place again products in so um eyeshadows blushes highlight pressed pan products you put them in that side you have a little plastic divider protects them and then you have this little pink side with a pocket that you can put other things in so you can put your mascara travel products whatever you want to put over there but it does come with these five brushes one is a this is like a buffin foundation brush 
These feel a little lightweight, like it feels like lightweight aluminum that's just painted gold, but it's really pretty. It's a gold and, and I love that they're cruelty free and they're really soft synthetic bristles. Then you have a dual sided foundation concealer brush. Again, this feels a little heavier though because I mean it's more weight on both sides, but synthetic buffer foundation brush and then the concealer brush to get under your eyes is more like a finger. It's a little wide though, but you know, you can still work it, hey! And then you have this highlight blush duo. This has, these bristles are so soft guys, you have like, I love how Tarte does their brushes. Again, another lightweight kind of brush, but the bristles are really soft. You have nice soft fluffy side and then a more detailed side that you can use for contouring in detailed areas. And then two eye brushes. I don't know when I'm gonna use this for eyeshadow, but it has this really round, fat side, this eyeshader side. I guess I can use that for like cream products. Then it has a little blend inside, hey? I don't, I, I don't like dual-ended brushes, but it's cute and I got it because I wanted that little travel clutch. Again, don't even mind me, but it was really inexpensive to grab it and I did also have I think I grabbed this with my tokens. I got a reward where it was $50 off a purchase or something like that. So I think that's when I grabbed this. Now the other one is, I'm thinking this is a lip brush because it's shaped like a lip brush and then a round, like a big finger looking, <laughs> a finger looking pot. But good brushes and again, I got it at a good deal. So this would make a great gift, I think. And they're doing a lot of gift things. It's a very heavy, heavy product. But yeah, I picked those up and I have some more products to share with you guys, but I'm gonna do it in a separate haul. I have an Ulta haul that I will share with you guys where I picked up some products. And I picked up some, pro I have a tutorial for this, by the way, in case you're interested. And I'm actually wearing something. I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm wearing a Kylie liquid lipstick. Let that sink in. Let that marinate for a little bit, like the turkey, before you, you, you roast it. Yeah. Kylie, I grabbed some Kylie products. <sighs> she had a Black Friday sale and it was 20% off and I actually tried one of the lip colors. I bought one because, I, like I said before and I've mentioned before that I'm doing a full liquid lipstick roundup and I'm trying to try out most of the brands are the very popular brands on the market and this happens to be one of them that is really talked about and it's not like Jeffree Star where I just will not support Jeffree Star at all. It's not like that where I'm just like, I, he's racist, I, he's misogynistic, I can't deal with his behavior, like no. It's not like that with Kylie. For me it was just like, here we go with a celebrity product a celebrity endorsed product that is subpar quality but they hike up the price and these are really high priced and they were available in kits and then they now sell them in singles so I grabbed a single to try out and I liked it so I went ahead and grabbed a couple of more a couple of more I grabbed a couple more of the liquid lipsticks so I can do a full review for you guys and so you can hear it from someone who is not affiliated, who is not a trying to be a part of the girl squad, who is not trying to get any PR products from her. You're gonna hear it from me who I don't stand to gain anything from giving a positive review. And if I give a positive review, you'll know I am being honest about it. So picked up a couple more, I picked up a couple of glosses and I also picked up the eyeshadow palettes. Not all of them, the burgundy and the bronze, is it bronze? Palettes. So we're gonna do that in a separate video and we're gonna do swatches and all that stuff, but so far I like the liquid, uh, sneak peek if you stay to the end of the video. I like the liquid lipsticks. I can't even front. Are they the longest lasting li liquid lipsticks? Absolutely not, but are they comfortable? For me they are, but they are a little bit drying so I can see people not liking them. They're not drying for me, but they're a little bit, I can feel them being a little bit drying, but my lips don't dry out that easily. But I like the liquid lipsticks. I like the shade selection and I like the lip pencils. The lip pencils, I was expecting 
based on what everybody has been saying about the lip pencils I was expecting something good and they're they're pretty nice so I like the lip pencils haven't tried the glosses but the eyeshadow palettes that is another story for another time. So anyway, I'm gonna do the video. So I'm gonna do the video. So so as usual, I'm gonna leave a full list of the products mentioned in this video down below in the description box, along with links to where you can find them, as well as links to my Instagram and Twitter page where you should definitely be following me along. Can we be friends? Can we just hang out and chill day to day? Yeah. And um yeah, until my next video, which yeah will be very soon. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys. Bye.